Thanks for tuning in again and welcome to Deep Learning. In this small video, we will look into the organizational matters and conclude the introduction. Okay, so let's look at the organizational matters. Now, the module that you can obtain here at FAU consists in total of five ECTS, and this is the lecture plus the exercises. So it's not just sufficient to watch all of these videos. You have to pass the exercises. In the exercises, you will implement everything that we're talking about here also in Python. And we'll start from scratch, so you will implement perceptrons, neural networks, up to deep learning, and in the very end, we will even move ahead towards GPU implementation and also large deep learning frameworks. So this is a mandatory part. It's not sufficient only to pass the oral exam. The content of the exercise is Python. We'll do an introduction to Python if you have never used it, because uh, Python is one of the main languages that deep learning implementations use today. And you will really develop a neural network from scratch. There will be feedforward neural networks. There will be convolutional neural networks. You will look into regularization techniques, how you can actually adjust um, weights such that they uh, have specific properties. Uh, you can see how you can beat overfitting with certain regularization techniques. And we will, of course, also implement recurrent networks. Uh, later, we will use the PyTorch framework and use that on large-scale classification. For the exercises, you should bring a basic knowledge of Python and NumPy. You should know about linear algebra. Such as matrix multiplication. Image processing is a definite plus, so you should know how to process images. And uh, of course, uh, requirement for this class are actually pattern recognition fundamentals and that you have attended the other lectures of pattern recognition already. You should bring a passion for coding. Uh, you have to code quite a bit, um, but you can also learn it during the exercises. If you have not done a lot of programming before this class, you will spend a lot of time with the exercises. But if you complete those exercises, you will be able to implement things in deep learning frameworks. And this is a very, very good um, training such that you cannot just uh, download code from GitHub and run it on your own data, but you also understand the inner workings of the networks, how to write your own layers, and how to extend deep learning algorithms also on a very low level. So pay attention, pay attention to detail. And um, if you are not very well used to programming, it will cost a bit of time. There will be five exercises throughout the semester. Uh, there's unit tests for all but the last exercise. So these unit tests should help you with the implementations. And in the last exercise, there will be a PyTorch implementation, and you'll be facing a challenge. And you have to solve this image recognition task in order to pass the exercise. Uh, exercise deadlines are announced uh, in the respective exercise sessions. So you have to register to them in Stutton. And um, yeah, what we've seen in the lecture so far is that deep learning is more and more present uh, in the daily life. Yeah? So it's not just a technique that's done in research. We've seen this emerging really into many, many different applications from speech recognition, image processing, and so on. Autonomous driving is something that is going to happen probably very soon. Uh, very, very quickly, maybe even towards the end of this year, but I'd say I'd be shocked if it's not next year at the latest, that um, having, the having a human intervene will decrease safety. And it's a very active area of research. If you're doing this lecture, you have a very good preparation for a research project with our lab or with industry or other partners. And yeah, we looked into the perceptron as baronet classifier and uh, their relation to biological neurons. But it's all going to happen. I mean, we are going to get to human level intelligence or whatever you want, what you will, um, artificial general intelligence at some point. And that's certainly going to change our place in the food chain because a lot of the tedious things that we do now, we're going to have machines do. So next time on Deep Learning, we will actually start with the next lecture block, which means we will extend the perceptron to a universal function approximator. We will look into gradient-based training algorithms for these models. And then we also look into the efficient computation of gradients. 
Now, if you want to prepare for the oral exam, it's good to think of a couple of comprehensive questions, and questions may be, um, what are the six postulates of pattern recognition? What is the perceptron objective function? Can you name three applications successfully tackled by deep learning? And of course, we have a lot of further reading. Uh, so you can find the links here on the slides, and we will also post the links uh, in the description of this video. If you have any questions, you can ask them in your exercise. You can email me, or uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you actually can use the comment function and leave, leave questions there. So this is a very nice functionality. And of course, we have quite a few references for this first five videos. And of course, this is now too quick to read all of them, but you can pause the video and then review those. And we will also post those references in the description of this video. So I hope that you like this video and see you next time in deep learning. Thank you.